Hey, why do you keep calling me? Wait, do you, uh, um, <clears throat> do you believe in coincidence? Why? Well, you said you've been hearing things. I've been hearing things myself for a while. But first I was seeing things. Like a pair of jeans, a sneaker on Canal Street, a flip-flop on Broadway, a one-time a, a thumb. Oh, I'll never forget that. Wait, wait, a what? Uh, yeah, I, I put it in my pocket uh, to find the, the woman it belonged to. I could tell it was a woman uh, because of the uh, long polished nail. It was a pretty finger, but I never found her. So what did you do? Well, I, uh, I kept the nail, right? And I, and I made it into a, a necklace. I gave it to a prostitute named Yusi. But then when Yusi asked me about it and I told her, she said it was her friend's thumb. And that her, her friend was in her early 20s. <laughs> Crazy how I knew that, right? Damn, all this in the hood? Yeah, then I started, started finding other things, like a, like a Bible, and a, some wasted lottery tickets every now and then. Oh, but then the voices. I started hearing people calling out to people. At uh, one time we heard a scream. Somebody shouted, John! John! The police didn't show up to the next day. But we found the body in the river the next day. I'm sorry, son. I drift a lot. I, uh, do you, uh, do you believe that uh, rewards are a coincidence or are they payment uh, for a generosity like yours? No offense, old man, but what kind of reward can I get from you? A wise word is more profitable than gold. You don't say. I do say. I don't even know who you are. I'm uh, John Christian. John, it's nice to meet you. You can call me Sam. Uh, nice to meet you, Sam. A word of advice. And uh, next time you hear your name called, answer it. So you have been calling me? <laughs> we only just met. Then who? Well, who knows, uh, unless you answer. Answer the call. <laughs>